15 years with four. WTVJ's 15th anniversary, a look back. Good evening, this is Ralph Rennick. Here in this building, Florida television began 15 years ago this week. WTVJ on March 21st, 1949, began broadcasting and became the first television station in Florida and one of the first in the nation, number 16, as a matter of fact. The gentleman with me this evening was here that first night we began television. Mitchell Wolfson, president of Wometco Enterprises and WTVJ. Ralph, that night seems a long time ago. I'm reminded of it by this picture, taken the split second we went on the air in 1949. As you can see from our beginning, we were aware of the public service potential of television. Present that night was the late Rabbi Switman of Temple Israel, Bob Quinn, representing the city of Miami, the late Dr. Bowman Ash, first president of our great University of Miami, Father Vincent Bake of Barry College, as well as our management. But I must admit, we didn't realize then the full impact this new medium would have on the community. Well, Mr. Wilson, I have never heard the answer to this question. Why did you begin WTVJ? Why did you initiate television in this state? Well, Ralph, as you probably have heard, I uh, was engaged for a while, in fact, two and a half years in World War II. I spent some time in England, North Africa, then in the invasion through Italy, southern France, Germany, and Austria. And I saw then that modern civilization depended on communications. The German army was really defeated when we destroyed their communications. And I made up my mind when I got back to the States and got back to private industry and interest that I would engage our company in some form of communications. Having been in the motion picture industry where we were well acquainted with both sight and sound, it seemed to me that television had the greatest opportunity in which we could serve and profit from communications. And uh, I made up my mind right then and there, and of course, as soon as I got back, we immediately uh, became interested in this new medium of television, and that was basically the reason why we've gone into television and built a place television station in the state of Florida. That's an interesting uh, answer, Mr. Wolfson. And the history of this station is equally as interesting. We've gone back through our film files to pick out some of the high points of WTVJ's progress and, incidentally, some of the events of the community that television has brought to light. This one atop the Everglades Hotel, 306 feet high. Inside that building was our original small studio and it still exists today, $299 to buy a set. And mind you, you had to finish building the set yourself. You know, Ralph, in those days, we probably didn't have over 1,000 or at the most 2,000 viewers. And think of it today, on some programs, we have as many as 1,500,000 viewers. 